Airports are stressful with all that sea of people, long lineups, and security shouts. Being in such a hurry to get to our planes, we often don't give the airport the attention it deserves. But let me tell you, there are so many secrets they don't want you to know. In this video, we will be spilling the soup on 15 secrets the airport industry desperately wants to keep under wraps. So, keep watching until the end, and you will end up saying, why didn't I know this sooner? Number 15. Free Wi-Fi for Everyone isn't particularly secure. While many airports provide free Wi-Fi, the quality and limitations can vary. Some airports, however, have hidden unlimited networks that are not prominently advertised. For example, Singapore's Changi Airport offers free Wi-Fi throughout the terminals, allowing passengers to connect seamlessly without time restrictions. In some cases, airport staff might discreetly share information about these hidden networks upon request and you can also get attacked by cybercrimes or hacking. Number 14. Your gender can confuse them. Suppose you're standing before the full body scanner, innocently complying with the TSA routine, arms raised in submission. Unbeknownst to you, the person operating that scanner has a split-second decision. Are you male or female? It's a seemingly mundane choice that can lead to unexpected results. If the operator selects the wrong gender, the scanner may reveal incredible anatomical details, prompting a more thorough, albeit somewhat uncomfortable, personal inspection. Number 13. Staff could be thieves too. You know that uncomfortable reality where you've got to trust random people with your stuff? Between 2003 and 2012, 381 TSA officers got the boot for helping themselves to travelers' belongings. Meet Pythias Brown, a master of the art who scored over $800,000 worth of gadgets and expensive items during his four-year stint at Newark Liberty International Airport. He blamed it on a culture of indifference. Real smooth. In 2015, CNN caught baggage handlers at Miami International Airport doing some light shopping with passengers' stuff. In 2017, a TSA agent in Orlando turned a routine pat-down into a cash grab. Surprise, surprise. And get this, of the 30,621 items reported missing between 2010 and 2014, most vanished from checked bags, with the rest vanishing at TSA checkpoints. Number 12. Bathroom feedback is taken on some airports. In the past, airport bathrooms weren't always as clean as we'd like similar to portable toilets on a hot day. But things are changing, especially in airports like those in the New York City area. When you leave the restroom after washing your hands, you might see a smart feedback device. This device lets you give instant feedback on your bathroom experience. The cool part? Your feedback is received in real time, helping the airport clean the bathrooms. Number 11. They owe you money for late flights. If you're flying with an EU-based airline and arrive at the destination three or more hours behind schedule, you're entitled to compensation. However, there's a catch. It doesn't apply to situations classified as extraordinary circumstances. So let's break it down. If your flight is late due to war, security concerns, natural disasters, extreme weather, or crew strikes, the airline isn't obligated to pay up. These are considered exceptional situations beyond the airline's control. On the flip side, if the delay is within the airline's control, such as technical issues or logistical problems, and you're left waiting at the airport for three hours or more past the scheduled time, that's when you might be in for some compensation. Number 10. Staff talks to you for a reason. Don't let the friendly chit-chat fool you. It might be a test. While it's not to turn you into a cynic, Security personnel engaging in pleasant small talk could be using it as a behavior inspection technique. The idea is to gauge if you come across as a suspicious passenger. They observe your responses, demeanor, and how you handle the interaction. It's a subtle way for them to assess whether you exhibit any signs of nervousness or if your behavior raises any red flags. Number 9. Comfortable seats are there to trap you. Ever wondered why the comfiest seats at the airport are conveniently located near the shops? It's not just a coincidence, it's a clever strategy to lure you into spending money. The airport has a plan. Once you've cleared security, 
Those plush seats are strategically positioned to make you feel relaxed and tempted to open your wallet. It's a subtle but effective trick. The comfort of those seats beckons you to take a moment, maybe grab a coffee, browse through the shops, and before you know it, you've made a purchase. The airport is well aware that post-security is where you're more likely to be in a spending mood, and they've positioned those cozy seats as the perfect track. Number 8. Morning People Are Mean According to the insiders, the airport staff, evening travelers are the preferred passengers. Why, you ask? Well, word has it that those morning flyers tend to be significantly meaner compared to their evening counterparts. Perhaps it's the lack of morning coffee fueling their grumpiness. The theory goes that evening passengers are more relaxed, maybe having had a full day to prepare for their journey. Conversely, morning travelers might be tackling early wake-up calls and bleary-eyed pre-coffee grumbles, leading to a less-than-pleasant demeanor. Number 7. Facial recognition software can track you. Facial recognition scanners might be silently tracking you at airports. If you thought the occasional pat-down was invasive, the Department of Homeland Security is taking it up a notch. According to Mashable, the plan is to have facial recognition scanners in every airport nationwide, tailing your movements throughout the terminal. The idea is straightforward. The software checks passengers' faces against their IDs to ensure their identities match up. On the surface, it seems like a noble goal to enhance security. However, it's also a slippery slope into potential privacy concerns. Number 6. Free Upgrades Rarely Happen Don't look for a free upgrade. Unless you're a loyal frequent flyer or splurged on a premium fare, it's a rare treat. Airlines are not as generous with complimentary upgrades, and the chances of snagging one without a special status or premium ticket are slim. So, if you're eyeing that business class seat, it's often a case of paying for the privilege or building up those loyalty points through frequent travels. Free upgrades have become a bit of a unicorn in the world of air travel. Number 5. They Sell Your Luggage the clock is ticking when you forget or lose something at the airport. You've got a 90-day window to reclaim your belongings. After that, airports typically take unclaimed items, donate them to charity, or sell them off. That's right, your forgotten scarf or left-behind book might find a new home through a charitable cause or become someone else's purchase at an airport sale. Number 4. Airlines Pay for Landing Slots Touching down on a runway is not just a routine affair, it's big business. Airlines pay hefty fees to airports for landing on specific runways on particular days and times. These coveted landing slots aren't just a one-time deal. They're valuable commodities that airlines often buy and trade amongst themselves. In aviation, securing the right landing slot can be a strategic move. Ensuring that an airline can efficiently operate its flights during peak hours or on high demand days. Number three, security isn't always secure. Contrary to the sense of security we hope for, airport security might not be as foolproof as you would imagine. Faced with understaffing and overworked employees spending extended hours gazing at screens, the reality is that the system may have vulnerabilities that compromise its effectiveness. The stress and fatigue experienced by security personnel can potentially impact their ability to maintain the highest level of vigilance and attention to detail, highlighting the challenges those entrusted with ensuring our safety at airports face. Number 2. The airport's atmosphere is quite toxic. Airports contain a variety of harmful compounds that could be harmful to health due to the high volume of air traffic and various road gear. Carbon monoxide a waste product of air and land traffic is a major contributor to this poisonous concoction. There are dangerously high concentrations of this material in airport air because of all the moving parts, including planes, cars, and machinery. Number 1. A Secret Baggage Trick If you check in your luggage at the last minute, there's a good chance it will be among the first bags to hit the carousel at your destination. The advantage? You get to be one of the first ones out through the exit doors, bypassing the crowd and saving some precious time. It's a bit of a trade-off, the stress of a last-minute check-in versus the convenience of a speedy exit. Need more such secrets? Wait for part two and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on it.